Okay, in this uh, video, I'm just going to go through transformations of graphs. So again, it's chapter 4, is the last bit of chapter 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through, so let's say we have a graph y equals fx, it's any graph, okay? I'm going to go through the theory of this first and then I'm going to show you uh, in pictures, okay? So if we have a transformation y equals f of x plus a, okay? So a being any number, okay? It could be plus 2, plus 3, plus 1, anything you like. That means whatever the graph, which was originally there, is going to move to the left a number of units. So if it was plus 2, all the x coordinates are going to move uh, 2 units back. If it was plus 4, all the x coordinates are going to move 4 units back. So whatever the number a is, is going to move a units to the left. Okay, now if I change that to y equals f of x minus a, what's going to happen here is all the x coordinates are going to move to the right a units. So if it was minus 2, that means they move to the right 2 units. While um, this is plus a and minus a, nothing will change in the y coordinates. The y coordinates stay the same, it's only the x coordinate which changes to the left here and to the right here. Okay, now let's see what happens if you want to move the y coordinates. So if you have y equals f of x plus a, then that means all the y coordinates move up a unit, but the x coordinates don't change. Now if I do the reverse to this, it would be f of x minus a, so that means everything is going to go down a unit, so if it was f of x minus 2, that means all the y coordinates go down 2 units, but the x coordinates are unchanged. However, if you get something like this, so let's say we have f of x minus a plus a, so that means both sets of coordinates are moving, so f of x minus a means it's going to move to the right a units, and plus a outside means it's going to move up a units, and you could obviously mix it up anyway you like. So let's do an example and see how we can uh, work this out. Okay? So I'm going to do some examples. I hope you got that. If you didn't, just uh, uh, go back to the beginning of the video and just listen to it again. So I'll explain to you what happens when you subtract or add a number to either inside the bracket or outside the bracket. So if, if something's happening inside the bracket, that means it's actually going in the x direction one way or the other. If it's happening outside the bracket, that means it's going in the y direction. So let's do a graph here. So let's say I have y equals fx, and this is the graph. Okay, so let's say we have something like this. So let's say it's crossing at, I don't know, so let's say this is minus 1, 0. So let's say this is 5, 0. So that means there are 6 in it. So that let's say this is 2, 5. And let's say this is 0, uh, 1. Okay? So you've got four different units there, coordinates. So now if I do f of, so let's say this is f of x, so f of x minus 2 plus 2. Okay, let's, let's just make a different value there, so plus 1. Okay, so that means all the x coordinates are going to the right two units and the y coordinates are going up one unit. So let me just do my y and x here. So 2, 5, first of all, becomes, so you need to add 2 to the x coordinate, which makes it 4, and then you go up 1, so that becomes 4, 6. And that here, 0, 1, so you go 2 that way, so that means 2, 2, so it's somewhere here. And this 5, 0 becomes 7, 1, so it's somewhere here, 7, 1. And that one, so you need to come to, so if you go 2 here, so it will be 1, 1. So there will be 1, 1, somewhere here. And you can see this graph has changed all of a sudden. So it's going to go something like that. So it's gone to the right two units and up one unit. So you can see, so that's what you call a transformation. In particular, this is a translation. So it's a translation of two units to the right and one unit to the, uh, to the uh, top. Okay, so that's that. Now let's try and do a different type of a translation or transformation. Okay, so 
it's not only adding and subtraction you can do, you can actually do uh, uh, multiplication and division as well. Okay, so things get slightly complicated obviously when they mix different transformations. Uh, so let's say we have a graph y equals f of x again. So if you got y equals f of ax, so that means the values in the x axis are actually divided by a. So if you a, if a was 2, and if you had an x value, let's say 4, so it's become 2 now, because 4 divided by 2 is 2. On the other hand, if you have y equals f of 1 over a x, so that means you have to multiply all the x values by a. Remember, whenever it's happening inside the bracket, that means you have to do the opposite operation to x values. So if it's times a, so that means you have to divide by a. If it's over a, that means you have to times a. On the other hand, for the y-axis, so y equals a f x, so that means you have to multiply all the y values by a units. And if it was 1 over a f x, so that means you have to divide all the y values by a units. So let's try and do an example and try and make sense of this again. Okay. So I'll actually do some simple transformations for this because it might be a bit tricky to understand otherwise. So let's say we have a graph. Okay, so let's say something different this time. So let's say we have a cubic graph. Okay, so this is your y equals fx. So let's say we have some nice points here. Let's say minus 2, 4. And let's say we have uh, 4, minus 6 here. Okay, so now, so I'm going to do it in a different color. I hope you can see this. So let's say we want to do y equals f of 2x. So f of 2x means all the x coordinates are halved because you're multiplying by 2, so that means you have to divide by 2. So that means minus 2, 4 becomes minus 1, 4. Okay? And 4 minus 6 becomes 2 minus 6. So let's see what's actually happening to this graph now. So it's actually getting squashed a little, isn't it? If you look at it, it's squashed. Okay? Uh, I hope that's clear. I'll just redo the line so hopefully you can see it now. So you can see this red graph is a squash. Okay? So now let's see what happens if I make a change to the y direction. So let's say we have y equals 2 f of x. Okay? So that means all the y coordinates are doubled. So minus 2, 4 becomes minus 2, 8. Okay, I can't go any further up, so I'll leave it there. Okay. And then 4 minus 6 becomes 4 minus 12 down here. So it's going to go like this. So you can see it's actually stretched in that direction. So let me just do that again. Okay, so I hope it's clear. I know it's not that clear, but what's actually happened is um, the graph is stretched that way. So you can do a combination of these uh, uh, transformations as well. I hope it's clear. And um, I'm not going to do any more sketching graph. If you want me to do it, then just email it or just write a comment below. I might do a video. I'm going to start coordinate geometry next. It's one of my favorite chapters and it's one of the most important chapters because coordinate geometry is something which is going to come up in a lot of chapters from here on in C1, C2, C3, C4 and if you're looking to do maths further at university then you know it's going to keep coming back and uh, basically you need a basic knowledge of coordinate geometry and also trigonometry so I'm going to leave it there and uh, I'll see you in the next video